Hi, I'm Tom from Raymond Osmond Product Design and I'm just going to talk to you uh, today about nonlinear FEA and how you can use that for doing some impact studies on new products. So I've mocked up, mocked up this part in SolidWorks and this is kind of a little fascia for a, for a control unit or a smoke alarm or something but anyway it's, it's for injection moulding so it's plastic there's kind of shutoffs through here and some details and a little hole and uh, a logo just to put something interesting in the centre there. So this, this exists in SolidWorks and what I've also done is I've also designed uh, a little impactor. Now this is half a kilo um, round so it's kind of um, distributing the load across it and these flats are just to make the simulation run a bit better. So we can put this into an assembly and so we've got this impactor here that's pretty much touching here so it's kind of fractions of a millimetre away and I've just aligned that with the centre so this this will be impacting in the centre of this this face. Now I've got a non-linear um, dynamic model in FEA running here so this is this is some of the advanced simulation tools in SOLIDWORKS. Um, so this is this is constrained at the bottom of the of the fascia. Um, these flats on the side have allowed this this part to kind of um, move up and down, but not move off centre. So it's kind of like guiding it to that impact site. And then I've also given it an initial condition because this is touching, so it can work out the um, the mesh of how that touches. So it's touching, but I've said. It's going to be impacting with a speed of 3.13 meters per second, which is equivalent to a drop height of um, half a meter. So this is going to be impacting with a force, or sorry, an energy of about uh, 2.4 joules. Uh, there's gravity in here as well, and we've set that with this big arrow pointing down. So I've already ran this simulation, but um, but we can look here. We can, um, we can just show the mesh. So there's a mesh here. So this is broken, broken down these parts into kind of this, this, these finite elements. So these are all each individual elements. I've got it on curvature based mesh as well. So where there's more curvature, there's a bit more detail because um, that's kind of where we need to be seeing these peak stresses that we're going to see. Um, and so there's a mesh on here as well and assign the materials. So this is this is a block of solid steel, and this is a, this is a generic ABS in this, this simulation. But what we can do is that, so this is already run, and we've got this block, which is essentially, in reality, kind of starting half a meter in the air above this disc. I can animate this, and I'll show you what this does. We've got this animation going here. And so the software knows that this impactor has dropped from half a meter in the air and hit the fascia here. And it sees how all these loads are transmitted through the structure and what these kind of deformations are. We can see that's really quite bouncy, almost trampoline-like in the, in the way it's designed here. So if there was something fragile inside, that would be transmitting a lot of load to it. So if there was a circuit board in here, we could well be smashing the circuit board. So we might want to be improving the stiffness of this to stop that happening. We can also look at the, this is von Mises stress here. So where are, where are the stresses distributing and how are they being reacted by the part? And while this is animating, you can see, see it gets to worst cases and comes back again. So if I stop this animation and go back to uh, one of the other stresses. So this is, this is showing those kind of worst case stresses that we can see. So right in the center, we can, where it's impacting, we, we can see some stress here. And so this, this little bit here is uh, actually showing that's going into yield. And again, here on the logo, because we've got these kind of small radiuses here, and there's nothing kind of distributing that load around. So if we did want to have the logo here, we probably really need to be putting some, some details into the, into the back of this to resist that or, or stiffen that up to stop it, stop it yielding at those spaces. We're also, as we kind of fly around, we can see there's just little specks of kind of high stress values in these, these kind of ribs that come out here. 
So we, we probably need to do a bit more design work on that, just optimizing what these fillet sizes are to guarantee that that's going to be strong enough. Or um, the B surface of this doesn't really have any detail at all. So putting in ribs or other strengthening to, to, make, that, to make that work. So that is, that is a non-linear dynamic FEA of this, this fascia plate and that, that, um, that helps us predict that these parts are going to, to work when they're in production and in real life and it allows us to iterate and design very quickly um, these kind of components to make sure they're, they're suitable for real life.